Perfect. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's do it, man. So let's um actually and, and then and then yeah, we'll need we'll need GoDaddy as well. Open up as well. Perfect. Okay, so let's do let's do um let's do Kartra first. Okay. We'll just go into Kartra and then on the top right, you'll click on your profile and you'll just hit the drop down and go to custom domains. Okay, cool. And then just hit the hit the green uh, square right there. And then we're going to go with only the main domain. Okay, perfect. And then you just type it in right there. And that little favicon to the right, that's just like a little logo, you know, that would, that would be up, be um, right there at the top, you know, in the tap. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you have like a little logo, you can, you can always put it there. You can leave it, leave it, leave it as is right now if you want, but in the future, you can always add a little logo right there. Okay. That's perfect. Yeah. Cool. So, and then we'll hit next. And then over here, it's just going to give us a simple um, three point instruction um, that we'll do. And, and, and we'll, we'll do number two. So number two, all you're going to do is, is copy the Dominic white .com. We're going to copy that. And then we're going to just simply create a C name record inside of GoDaddy. Okay. So if you just on, on number two, if you just copy that domain, that URL, the Dominic white .com. Am I not seeing it? Yeah, number two, point your CNAME record to Kartra. Actually, no, you don't gotta you don't gotta go there. You can oh. close this one out. But just on on, on step two, mm -hmm. it says um, your domain is right there. Dominic Dominicwhite.kartra.com, the oh. URL. Yeah, copy that one. And then we're gonna take that over to GoDaddy and we're gonna create a CNAME record, which it should already be there. But um, let's just click on domain settings. And then over here, yeah, if you scroll to the very, very bottom, we'll go with manage DNS. Okay, perfect. And then over here, we're gonna see we're gonna see C name, and all we're gonna do is edit it. So this C name right there, www, and then you got the at sign. We're gonna edit this one. So to the very, very right, we'll just edit this one, and we'll um, we'll leave the www, but we're gonna delete the at sign. So it points to, and we're gonna just paste in that that new link and we'll hit save and then what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to Kartra and we're going to go to step three and we're going to copy the www so copy mm -hmm. that full one yep www.therea perfect copy that whole thing and then now we're going to we're going to bring that over back to GoDaddy and we're going to simply add it in the forwarding so very very bottom if you scroll to the very very bottom we'll edit the actual forwarding so right there actually the top I'm sorry little little up right here. So this forwarding, we're going to add it at the top one. Yeah, the top one. Perfect. So right there, click on that. And then you're going to paste it in right there. And what you're going to also do is make sure that the HTTP hit the drop down. We want the S. So with yeah. Kartra, now that we're hosting the domain on Kartra, they provide the, the certificate for the security. So now you can use the S um, and then you just hit save. And then, and then we're good over here. You know what? That, that, that just happened to mine. I don't know why I don't know why this is this is this is happening, but I just tried like literally a few minutes ago. I just tried doing this on mine, and I got that error as well. Oh, so, um, because I had to change out my calendar, and I changed out my domain for my calendar for Kartra, mm -hmm. and I don't know why this is happening. I'm gonna have to contact GoDaddy, and and you may have to do the same thing, um, because that 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 doesn't happen. But for some reason, we're both. I got the error on my end too, and I've done this a million times. So. For some reason, it's just not processing it right now. Hit the um. Yeah, make sure that www. Actually, you know what? Go go into the www. Make sure there's no spaces in it. Do you, do, yeah, click right there. Hit backspace. Oh, you know what? See, hit save again. See if you can. There it goes, man. Hit save again. See if you can do. Okay, yeah. So it's still the error. Um, but yeah, sometimes if you when you copy and paste it, there's that space there. But see if there's anything else up there that could be. Is there any other space or? Go to the very, very end. Um, there's the dot com. Hit the drop down, HTTP. Um, we got the S. Yeah, see, so I got I got the same error, man. Um, try to do it again. Hits. Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay, cool. We're good. Might have just been that space. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So now let's go back to car. Yeah, we're good. I tried doing it multiple times on my end, but I kept getting the error. And that, that, that never happens, but whatever. I mean. It's all good. So now we're good. So go to Kartra 
And now we're going to check the box or the circle, the yes at the bottom. And then we're going to just go to the next one, hit next at the top. And then over here, this is the index and the error page. So all this is really is when it comes to a custom domain, you have to renew that domain every year. Right. So if you don't renew that domain and someone clicks on it, Kartra can forward them to a page. So okay. the air page, the index page, I just put that as my landing page. So whatever my landing page may be, I'll just, I'll just redirect it to the landing page if that domain is not working for whatever reason. So right there in the middle, site, hit the select site, hit the drop down, and um, go in and choose no site in particular. And we're going we're gonna to do the same for both. And then Kartra page, hit the select on the Kartra page to the right, and then just choose the, um, the squeeze page. Go with the squeeze page. And then same thing with the bottom one, squeeze page. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we'll hit next. And then it says here that it'll happen within a day, but it normally happens within five minutes. So we'll just close okay. this out and then we'll, we'll come back to this. So leave this page here, close that, and then we'll just leave it as is right here. And now let's integrate the domain with, um, with face. Actually, you know what? One thing we got to do real quick though, mm -hmm. did we add the pixel to the pages? Yeah, I believe we did. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we should, we should have. So click on page. Yeah. Click on my pages and then just click on um, any one of them. Click on the three dots. Yeah, we should have added the pixel. Actually, no, the three dots. And then just get the get the code, get code or link, get code or link. Yeah, just this is how you just get your link. So you're going to click on get the page link and then just copy this link right here and open it up in a new tab. Yeah, just copy it. And I'm pretty sure we, we added our pixel, but let's just double check because that's what's what needs to be done before we integrate the domain. And that thing will light up. Yeah, perfect. So click mm -hmm. on your, your pixel helper right there. Yep. That should be your pixel. So yep. perfect. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, cool. And then what we got to do also. Okay, yeah, thank you. This is your thank you page. Perfect. Okay, cool. We're good. Custom conversions working on that. We're good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to integrate the domain with Facebook. So now go to the Facebook business settings. And we're going to simply go down to the left. We're going to scroll down on the left-hand side and we'll see brand safety. So we'll scroll down and we got brand safety. Perfect. And we're going to click on domains and then we're going to go ahead and add it right over here. Perfect. And then, so everything except for the www. So just the REA perfect zone.com. Okay. We're going to click on add and then what we'll have to do is we'll most likely need to refresh it. So we'll refresh this page and then it's going to give us a set of instructions with an actual link to um, integrate into GoDaddy. So we should get three steps over here. Okay, perfect. Four steps actually. So yeah, perfect. So now number two, all we're going to do is copy that link right there. Yep. Click on it. Copied. Perfect. And then it says here in number three, add the at sign in the host field. Um, and then number two, it says add a TXT record. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add a TXT record. So let's go to GoDaddy. Just like we did with Kartra, we added a C name record. So with, with, with Facebook, they want it to be a TXT record. So we're going to click on add and we're going to simply hit the select and find TXT. And then um, the host is going to be the at sign. And then go ahead and paste in your link there. Perfect. And then click on save. And we should be good. So um, scroll to the top. Let's make sure we see the per the purple. Perfect. Okay, cool. Now just refresh this page. I'll always just refresh it. I'll either whenever I do anything on the Facebook side, I'll refresh it. And then over here, GoDaddy side, I'll refresh it. Um, and then um what we want to do now, okay, so we're good with, with GoDaddy. So now let's go back to the business settings and we're going, we're going to click on verify. And sometimes you may have to click on it a few times, but go ahead and click on the green one and see if it registered. Perfect. We're good. Awesome. So now Facebook knows the domain that you're going to be running traffic to. So go ahead and refresh this page and that red dot should go green. Perfect. So now you're good. Now, 
Now, here's what we want to do also. Also, um, click on click on to the very left. Go to um, go to data sources. And I think this is where we're at also on as far as our calls. I'm pretty sure our next step is is custom audiences and custom conversions. We haven't set those up yet, right? Around the links, around the Kartra pages. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think we've gotten that far. That's that's where we're we're at right now. Perfect. So click on custom conversions. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna add a conversion. And a conversion, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna create a new custom conversion. So a custom conversion is all about. Are you are you familiar? Do you, do, you, do you know what a custom conversion is? I mean, it's just particular to that that visitor, right? Yeah, like 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 particular to specifically to a to an action, like okay. like the action that we're trying to get someone to take, okay. um, like the ultimate action, like the ultimate goal. Like you have you have you have two different goals. You have you have a goal, and then you have your ultimate goal. Right. A conversion is your ultimate goal. Okay. So if I'm sending somebody to a web page and my ultimate goal is to get them to buy, that's your ultimate goal. Right. The buy, the purchase is the conversion. Or if I'm just trying to capture a lead, my goal is to get them to click on the ad and come to my landing page. But my ultimate goal is to get them to my thank you page. Mm. Because okay. if I can get them to my thank you page, that's a lead. Right. It's the thank you page that is the conversion. Those who land on the thank you page is a conversion. That's how Facebook tracks it. They track the conversion. And, okay. and so when we go and run ads, that's what we're running. We're running conversion ads. And, okay. and we're telling Facebook, hey, man, uh, my goal is to get them to the landing page, but the conversion and my ultimate goal is to get them to the thank you page. So with that being said, here's the link to my thank you page, get me people there. Right. Okay. That's what it's all about. So, so custom conversions is telling Facebook about the thank you page. Right. And, and again, that thank you page could be, could be after someone purchased something, or it could be the thank you page after someone opted in to download something or, or maybe just schedule a call. They opted in to schedule a call with you. Either way, it's all about the thank you page, the confirmation page. That's your conversion. That's your custom conversion. So let's go ahead and hit the blue button. We're going to create it. And then um, we're going to name the conversion. So let's name this one. Um, in fact, hit that drop down DC digital marketing. We may have to, we may have to warm up the, um, let's go back up to, we may have to warm up the page really quick. So let's, let's X out of this real quick. Actually, you know what? Leave it, leave it. Cause we, I want to know what pixel we're using. Let's go ahead and hit the drop down one more time. You have two. You have two, you have the, you have the 0246 and then you have the 9056 and I'm just reading the last four digits. Let's see which one you're actually using. So go back to your pages, go back to Kartra and let's just go to, go to, go to all of them. Actually, we're going to test all of them, get code and just open up that page at the top. So open up a new tab and let's open up all three. We have to make sure that we're, um, we're using the same pixel, which we should be. We we should be, but let's just double check. So let's let's open up all three. Okay, awesome. Perfect. So now let's just, so now Facebook, and this is what you want to do all the time as well. Like when you create a new page inside of Kartra, you always want to um, 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 open it up in a new tab so Facebook can read the pixel. Okay, so see, so now what, what we're reading is 0246. Mm -hmm. So 0246, and then the other one is, is 0246. 0246. Okay, perfect. So now here's what we want to do now. Before we actually create the custom conversion, so I'm glad we're doing this before because uh, here's what we got to do first. Um, go back to Kartra. Let's check that domain. 
let's see if the do the domain is is available now. So click on your drop down to the right, the the profile. Yeah, go back to custom domains, and it should say connected. Nice. Okay, so now we're good. So now go back to my pages, and those links are going to change. Now we're going to build every page around the reazone.com. So if you click on the dots, you'll get coder link. Now this is how you can change the domain on all pages by just simply doing this, but you can also do it as you're exiting the page as well. So if you're in the builder mm -hmm. and you're, you're putting the page together and you go and save progress and then you go and publish live, when you publish live, you also have the opportunity to change out the link at that point as well. So you're either changing it when you're exiting the page or you can change it here. So right here, hit the pencil. And now what we're going to do is we're going to build everything, hit the drop down to the left. Everything is going to be around the REA zone. Oh, nice. So now that becomes your new link. So hit that check mark. Actually, you got to do the check mark. You got to save it. Oh. So hit the check mark. Now open up that one. So copy that. Let's close out the other three tabs at the top and let's open up the new tab or the new link in a new tab. So let's, let's get Facebook knowing and, and, and reading the new URL. That's what our custom conversion is going to be based around is that domain nice. or that URL. So let's open up all of them actually. Perfect. Okay, cool, man. So, so now Facebook just read that URL for the first time. The pixel is firing. So everything looks good. So now, and sometimes it takes Facebook a few, I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, this one says it only has two, but the other two are saying, oh, okay, yes. okay, okay, everything's good. Okay. Well, right. well, well, the reason for it, go ahead and click on, um, and see, so now what we'll have to do, what we'll have mm -hmm. to do now is what we did prior mm -hmm. is we set up a custom conversion. Like, for example, right here, watch, click on the pixel helper. If you remember, just a couple minutes ago, mm -hmm. it said there, leads or whatever the hell it was our custom conversion was listed as the third one down do you remember it said um yeah yeah it was three up yeah it was it was the, it was the name of our custom conversion which which was something leads i think yeah yeah but that was based on and that was created around the old link mm, okay. so now that we have a new link we got to set up a new custom conversion okay around this new link so um so that's what we'll do. So now let's go into 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 the business settings, and let's just x out of. The, so 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 it's o two it's o two four six. Now that should be green. I don't know why it's grayed out. And in Facebook, they're going through a major major change right now um, because of this Apple iOS update. I don't know if you're if you're if you're hearing anything about that, but no. because of what Apple has has done, and they changed their whole operating system and. Now they're allowing people to opt out of advertisements. Facebook is making a complete freaking turn and, and updating a bunch of shit on their end. Um, oh. and, and this is one of them. The custom conversion and the pixel is one of them. Because never before, just a week before, a week prior, seven days ago, you didn't have to, you didn't have to integrate your domain. Like that was <laughs> not a requirement. Now it is. And so... Facebook's just making a ton of changes and, and, and the pixel and the custom conversion is, is, is being affected, not in a bad way. They're just making changes. And, and that's why I think that thing's not green. So let's exit out of this real quick. Let's refresh this page and let's see if that's green. Cause normally that dot should be green. Um, and, and, and Facebook just, it may take them a little while to read, to read that, which it normally doesn't, they read that shit right away. But, but if that thing's not green, then we may have to wait a little bit. So let's let's go in and hit the hit the ad real quick. Hit that blue button and let's try to see if that dot is green. So create a new cu new custom conversion. Bam! There it is. There. See. So when it comes to custom conversions, when it comes to your pixel, when it comes to Facebook, you always want to let Facebook read that pixel. Right, so now they read the new domain with that pixel. Now, now it's green, right. and so you always want to open up the tab. Is what I'm saying. Open up the tab all the time when you create a new page. Open up that tab right away so Facebook can read it. Okay, so now we're good. Now we're good. So hit that drop down. Make sure that that's the right pixel. O two four six, the green dot. Just double check. 
we're good. Okay, cool. So this conversion is going to be around the thank you page. So whatever yeah. funnel this is, whatever campaign this is, you're going to have many different campaigns, many different lead campaigns. Name this lead. Name this funnel. Name this. Name this type of lead. What lead? What lead is this? That's the name of your conversion. What lead is this? Um, purchase lead, I guess. Is it a purchase lead? I, I mean, you tell me. You're when I opt into your shit. What are you trying to do? Yeah. You selling something, or are you just getting a, an opt in lead? Yeah. So if I go to that landing page and I opt in, what am I opting in for? Yeah. Well, I would like for realtors to sign up so I can, you know, run them through this. So, so you could what? Yeah, so I can run them through this uh, process so I could, you know, manage their uh, leads. Yes. Yes. So when it comes down to it, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. You're going to do it a couple of different ways. Either you're running an ad mm -hmm. to get to get realtors to schedule an appointment with you. And, and you're offering a free call, a free consultation, a free strategy call, then in that case, you're shooting for appointments. So right. I'm going to your landing page and I'm scheduling an appointment. Right. right. When I schedule Tuesday at 4 p.m., I then am taken to a thank you page and that's my call confirm page. Okay. So, so, so the name of this name of this conversion would be something like, um, appointments because these are people who landed on my thank you for scheduling page mm -hmm. these are leads who have scheduled an appointment mm -hmm. now the custom conversion is one thing we're going to go set up a custom audience around that link as well and that's another thing but here this is the most important well actually they're both important but this right here is really important because this right here is the link that we're trying to get people Two, when we run our ad, the ultimate goal is to get people to the thank you page. Right. So, and that's in your case, if you're shooting for appointments, then that's the call confirm page. And that, that would be this link. So that thank you, thank you page, go back to the Kartra thank you page. That thank you page, it would be something like, thank you for scheduling. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you for scheduling. Yeah, in fact, you named it at the top. Thank you for scheduling. Perfect. So now double click that link at the top and that question mark R underscore done. Mm -hmm. That's only there because because Kartra's reading your IP address, but the real link is just the link. It's not going to be that question mark R underscore. So when we set up a custom conversion and when we set up a custom audience, all you need is the URL. You don't need the HTTP. You don't need the www. Just the REA zone. Yeah, just the REA zone. Perfect. That right there, copy that. Okay, so this is our custom conversion. Um, we're going to scroll down. We're going to click on select your own category. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to click the recommended. And so here's, here are, hey, click on the recommended, the drop down. Here are the different conversions that we can shoot for, that we can run ads for with the ultimate goal in mind. Is the ultimate goal to get them to complete a registration? Is it for them to donate? Is it to contact us? Is it a lead? They opted in, now they're a lead. Is it a schedule? So in your case, it'd be a schedule. Yeah. So we're optimizing for appointments. We're running ads to get people to schedule a call. Yeah. Right. That's, that's the goal. So you paste in the link right there and you're good. So scroll down. You don't need anything at the top for the description. You don't need any value. Go ahead and click on create. And now what it's going to do, it's going to bring you to this one. You've created a custom conversion appointment leads. Um, and then that, that right there is the URL review your rules. This conversion meets all the following rules and then click on done. Nice. Okay, so now let's go ahead and um, refresh this page. And I'll show you where to find your custom conversions as well. You can, you can see them here, but there's also another, another area to see them as well. And then click on, click on add assets. Let's see if we need to add anything. Click on add assets to the right, to the right, add assets. 
Okay, so go ahead and add to the DC marketing. Go ahead and click shade or click on that circle. Yep, right there. No, at the top. Yeah, there you go. Add. Perfect. Okay, so we hit that done, and then we're 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 good with that custom conversion. That is a custom conversion. That's what we're running ads to. With that ultimate goal in mind, is to get people to schedule an an appointment. Nice. Very specific type of ad. So that's the name of our custom conversion. Now to the left, scroll down, and we're gonna click on. We're in data sources. We're going to click on pixels. Let's click on pixels real quick. Um, yeah, scroll down a little bit. You'll see right below pixels right there. Click on pixels. And we may need to add the ad account. So we're going to be going with um, that second one down, right? DC's marketing marketing funnel, the pixel. Is that? Yeah, that's 0246. Mm -hmm. So on this one, go ahead and click on, click on add assets. Actually, you got to add yourself as well. So add people. Click on add people. And then let's add right there at the top. No, 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 no. At the bottom, manage pixel. Go ahead and shade that one. And then assign. Perfect. Done. Okay. So now also on the pixel side, you want to add your ad account. So click on add assets. We just added people and that's mm -hmm. tied to you. Now, right here, we're going to also tie the pixel to the ad account. So go ahead and click on that and click on add. Okay. You're good. You're good. So click on done. And then um, now what we want to do now is we're good on this end. Let me show you where to look at your pixels um, from a different view or your, excuse me, your custom conversion from a different view because we may have to activate it. Um, we added it, we created it, but it may be inactive. So hit the dots at the top, the, dot, the top left, hit those dots and go to events manager. And then what we're going to do over here is we're going to hover over the blue triangle to the left and we're going to click on custom conversions. And we should see your conversion right over here. Okay, perfect. So they're both active. You got lead, you got scheduled appointments and you got appointment leads. Okay, so the, the top ones, we can delete those top ones, those two top ones that are actually active because those are not our conversions after all. So go ahead and, and, and click on manage, scroll down. Yeah, if you hit the drop down, no, go to your right, that same drop down, go to the drop down, and then and then down to the left, scroll down, you'll see manage, click on manage. And then over here to the right, you'll see that drop down arrow. Click on that and then click on delete. And then let's do the same thing for the second one down. Actually, this one right here. Let's just click on manage to the bottom left. And the reason why we're deleting these, because these are these are these were created around your old your old URL, the dominicwhite.carter.com, right? right? So now we're putting everything around the new domain, which is the REA zone. Mm -hmm. So now if you look at it, this is why I brought you here, because I knew it was gonna say inactive. Mm -hmm. The way to activate it is go to that page, the Karcher page. So go ahead and go up to the tab, click on that, refresh it. So when you refresh it it should now read the custom conversion. So that number two should go to number three. Perfect. Hit the pixel helper. Now you can see, no, go back, to, go back to the page. Yeah. Click on the pixel helper, the number three. So now you'll see your custom conversion appointment leads. Nice. So that right there is major, bro. That's right there. That's, that's your money right there. So now yeah. go back to the events manager tab and then let's refresh this page this inactive should go to active bam nice. we're good okay so one last step we need to do actually two more last steps let's go and you may have this ability now the ability to do this now you may have to wait a little while i had to wait like freaking a week um which was weird because again facebook's going through an update and and shit's just not matching up right now but Hopefully we can we can get to it. Click on click on the dots to the left, and let's go back to Events Manager. Click on that again, and then over here, this is the newest newest feature of Facebook. Um, this is something you did not have to do a week ago. Now we do, um, and so we want to make sure we're in the right pixel. You have these three different ones to the left. We always want to make sure we're we're in the right one. O two four six. So now what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and click on settings. Let's go to settings real quick. And we wanna tell Facebook which domain to allow 
the tracking. So if you scroll down, we go all the way down to tracking. We'll see tracking at the very bottom um, right here. Actually, um, no, keep going, keep going actually. You'll see, actually it's not, yes, traffic, traffic. Yeah, traffic permissions. So go down, scroll down. Yeah, you can get rid of that. So right here, traffic permissions. Click on create allow list, create allow list. And then over here, we're going to, okay, so we're allowing anything from, okay, perfect. So they're already set up, we're good. So now these two domains, Facebook's gonna be tracking and that's, and that's perfect. So hit close, nice. we're good there. So now we're going to click on overview right there at the top, overview. And then we're going to scroll down just a bit and we're going to click on aggregated event measurement. So click on that, click on the blue button, configure web events. And again, we may have this ability, this feature active. We may have to wait a little while, a little while, but hopefully we have it. Click on domain verified. And then you're going to click on edit events. And then, to, and then the blue button. And then to the right, you're gonna click on the green one, add events, and then hit this drop down right here, choose a pixel. Damn it, yeah, see, so, so there's our pixel and then there's our custom conversion. Now, let's do this real quick. Let's, um, let's go to, yeah, see, so this is what, what we may have to wait on is this drop down, this drop down for it to light up. This is kind of what, some accounts you can you can choose it right away. Some you have to wait a little while before you, before it lights up, and then you can choose it. But we should be able to choose either our pixel or our or our custom conversion. But but they're all all three of them are grayed out. But yeah. what we can do to to just maybe test it is let's go to let's go to the opt-in page. Let's go to your 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 opt-in page, your squeeze page, whichever one that is. Is your um. Is your form ready for this? Like scroll down. We may have to create that form real quick. Yeah, right here, the placeholder. Let's create a form for this real quick. And then let's um, let's just opt into it. Normally you wouldn't have to do that because the thank you page is right there. Normally you can just go to the thank you page, refresh that, and now Facebook reads that thank you page. In fact, let's just do it, do it one more time. Go to the thank you page. Thank you for scheduling page. Refresh this page, which we which normally you can just refresh it because that's what we did. We refreshed it. The pixel was red. We refreshed it. The custom conversion was, was red. Facebook read it for the first time. So it should be active already, which it is. But again, in, the, in this specific dropdown, it's not showing. Um, so if we have to, let's just fully opt in and see if that does anything. Um, so go to Kartra. Let's just create a form real quick. So go to Kart, the, um, the actual Kartra. Um, platform. Yeah, let's go there, right there. Let's close this out. And what we want to do is we want to create a form. The form is what's going to go on the squeeze page. So this form right here, my forms, this is the actual opt-in form. So let's just create, let's create the form and then let's just test it, opt in and, and see if Facebook can, can read it that way. So this is the opt-in form. And here's what you want to do too. As you go in and start creating stuff like this, you want to be specific. You want to, you want to, you want to, and, and you only have one, one funnel right now, but as you start to build more funnels, you're, you're going to want to be more specific with the titles of these pages and the titles of these forms. Client, perfect. Client scheduling opt-in form, perfect. So um, yeah, that way you know the, exactly what the hell is what. Right. You know, so, so now in here, this is the first part, the fields. You can ask for whatever information you want up front, but but based on experience, first name and email is all is all you want to ask for. Yep. Like the more information you ask for, the 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 less leads you're gonna get. So um, leave it as is. First name, email. That's all you need. So now we're gonna hit save at the top, the green one. Hit oh. save, and then you can save and next. So we'll hit save and next, and then the confirmation. We're gonna go single opt in only. Yeah. We'll hit save on this one, and then the welcome. This is the thank you page. So all we're going to do is we're going to hit the drop down an external URL on the success page. So hit that drop down, go with Kartra page, and then hit the other drop down, select site, go with no site, and then hit the third drop down and choose that thank you page. So thank you for scheduling. Perfect. And then save. So there's the thank you page. When they opt in, 
they land on the thank you for scheduling page. So hit save and next. And then over here, this email is the first email, right? This, this, this is the welcome email. This is the first email that a person would get right away after they, after they opt in. Now, whether they're opting in to download a free PDF, whether they're opting in to attend a free webinar, or whether they're scheduling an appointment, what I do is I don't send it through here. So this is one way to send the, the first email is through the form. I send it out through the through through my communications through the sequence, which we'll get to we'll get to later. But I'll send this first out this first email through the sequence if I'm going to send out a first email at all, which normally I do. If you're opting into my shit, you're going to get a first email for for whatever the hell you're opting in for. Yeah. That first email, my welcome email, is sent through the sequence. Now, and that's in my communications, and that's in sequence. But we we won't go there yet. But in your case, in your case with going for an appointment. These are people that are going to my landing page to schedule an appointment. So in that case, your first email is for sure not sent through here. Your first email would be sent out through my calendars. So as we go and set up your calendar, as people go and schedule a, a, a call on your calendar, it's the booking confirmation email that goes out right away. So that booking confirmation email, just like when you go to my calendar, yeah. schedule the call on my calendar, you get that email right away. That's right. the booking confirmation email. And then what happens an hour before our call? An hour before our call, you'll get another email reminder. Now, you didn't get one today because I changed up my calendar and I don't think you got that email today. But normally you do. An hour before my calls with clients, you'll get that email reminder. That's all done through my calendars. So. Oh. Don't do it through here, the welcome message. Hit save and next. And then automations is what do we want to happen when that person opts in or schedule the call? Um, in this case, now, again, with the form, this ain't even the way I'd be doing it for the calendar. If you're going straight for an appointment, we're going to need to use the calendar. But all I'm doing this for is to test that damn events manager in Facebook. Yeah. So if you weren't taking people to a page to get them to schedule a call right away, let's say you were, you were running Facebook ads to get someone to just go to your landing page to opt in and download a free PDF. That's when the form, that's when this form is, is, is needed. But um, right here for your, in your case with the calendar, th this, this isn't, it isn't even the way we'd be doing it, but right here, if it was a free download for a list, for example, or for, for a, for a free download for a PDF or whatever, then I would subscribe them to a list, right? I would subscribe them to a list right here. But let's just leave all this blank for now because we're going to do this just for testing purposes. So scroll down, scroll down. Let's just hit save and next. And then um, we're going to use, go, to, go up. We're going to click on the green button, the green save. So I will use the form in Kartra. That's fine. So save and next. And we're good. We're good. So now let's go to my pages to the left. And we got to, we got to now embed that form onto the squeeze page. So let's go to the squeeze page and we're going to add that form right there in the placeholder. So we click on edit and let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go in. You can go into, um, yeah, and you'll want to start putting all your pages in an actual category. So clients funnel, um, whatever that category may be, you can, you can for sure just, just start putting them in categories. So click on edit. Okay, cool. So now all we're going to do is we're going to hover over the placeholder and we're going to click on the pencil, the edit. Perfect. So now just hover over the placeholder and then click on the pencil. Let's edit and we're going to add that form. So over here, we're going to hit the drop down, select opt in form, and we're going to select the one we just created. And then we're going to click apply. Perfect. And we're good. So now save and, and you know what? As you're in here, let me show you just let me just show you this real quick. This is the form. So now what we can do is we can click on fields right at the top 
and this would allow us just different, you know, if I want to change the size of, of the of the of the actual field, or if I want to do any editing, if I want to put an icon, I can I can do that. But the button, the button will allow me to change out the text. So right now the button says submit. Right now the color of the button is that purple. So if I wanted to change that, if I wanted to change the 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 the, the type of button and I wanted to go circle, I can I can hit the squared and it'll give me the circle um, option. If I want to add some shadow to that button, so I can just you know you know change out the button right here if I wanted to, or or the color and the text of the button I should say. So right there, button text I could put click here to schedule your call now, right? So I can I can I can get creative with that and and, and just write something different. And then again, I can change the color of that button. I can change the color of the text. Um, right now, the button's that purple, that purplish color. And then um, the text is that white. So I can change that out if I wanted to. Um, and go ahead and, go ahead and change it out just for the hell of it, the background color. Just choose any random color. So here's all the different colors. Just choose choose anything for now. Yeah, just click apply. And, and anytime you're over here to the left, making any updates or changes, you always have to click that green button apply. So always click that and that will change out the thing. So now save progress, hit the actions at the top, save progress, and then we're going to publish live. And again, as we go and publish live, that's when you have the first opportunity to change out the link if you haven't already. Now we already have, but this is where you would do it in the future. So, or anytime you're exiting a page, you'll click on get the page link, and then you'll do the same thing right here. Hit the pencil, hit the drop down, and choose that link. You know, so so that's where you'll just change it, you know, in the future, like any future pages. Okay. Okay. But this is good for now, so just hit the check mark. And then and then yeah, let's just let's just copy that, open it up in a new tab. Actually, you already save progress. You already published live. Let's just return a dashboard because you already have you already have the page open. We could just refresh the page at the top. So let's return a dashboard and then click on exit. And now we're back. So that's the form. So now go up to the tab at the top, the the, the squeeze page tab. Yeah, so let's refresh this. Actually, actually this one, this one. Refresh this page. Okay. So now opt in. Actually, you know what? Before you opt in, let's go back to Kartra. Actually, did you actually? Yeah, go back to Kartra. Click on my click, click on my communications to the left. And then, do we have a list? Click on list at the top. Okay, so let's create a list real quick. Create a list. So so hit the green. Yep, hit that real quick. And then let's just create this list. Name a list. So anyone who opts in to that form. What list are they on? Now, if you're shooting for an appointment, then that won't even be the, the form. We'll have to put a calendar form. Um, again, we're doing this just for testing purposes to test the events manager. But even if this was an appointment, if, if, if I'm taking someone to that page and they're scheduling an appointment, they schedule an appointment, they go to the call confirm page, that's my thank you page. Mm -hmm. Those people need to be on a list. Okay. So I would call those appointments. Those are people who scheduled an appointment. So real estate appointment leads. Perfect. That's the list that 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 people are going to go on whenever they fill out this form. So click on and then the public description is what they see if they were to go and unsubscribe. So here I just put a little description. Thank you for your interest in social media marketing or thank you for scheduling a call with me or whatever like um, it's just a brief description of what that list was even about that they were on. And in this case, they're on the appointment list. So thank you for scheduling a call with me. Yeah. Okay. You know, so, so hit next. Now, what we'll want to do real quick though, and, and again, this is just, I'm just teaching you as we go. Um, this won't be exactly for this particular page because we're going to, um, we're going to, um, add a calendar, but go ahead and click on back to my list and click on next. Now, what we'll do real quick is we'll go back to my forms and we need to edit that form. So click on my forms because now what we wanna do, we left it blank before. Click on the three dots, go to edit, and then just go into it. We left this part blank when we when we first set it up 
And that's the list, the automation. So click on edit. Let's go into it, go into it, edit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just click save and next. We're, we want to get all the way to automations. Just save and next, save and next, save and next. We want to get to automations because in the automations, what we're doing is we're telling the system, go ahead and hit save, hit the green one. Whenever you hit see a green, you got to always click it or else you won't be able to proceed. So save and next and then save and next, subscribe to a list. So right at the top, hit change. So we have to tell the system, when okay. someone opts into this form, subscribe them to the list. Anyone who opts into your form, anyone who schedules an appointment needs to be put on a list. So let's schedule them. I mean, let's put them on this list. They opt into this form. They're now on that list. Hit save and then scroll to the bottom, save and next. Okay, cool. So now, now we're good. Save and next. Now click on my communications. <clears throat> And then, and then right here at the top, you'll click on list and you'll now see that list. Okay. Now, now when it comes to leads, there's a list and then you have the sequence. Uh -huh. If you hover over communications at the top, there's sequence. There's two different things. You have a list and then you have a sequence. So the sequence, click on sequence. You don't have any sequences set up right now, but your sequence is your autoresponder. So okay. depending on what list that is, not everyone needs to be tied to a sequence. The sequence is the drip system. Your automated emails that follow. Not every list needs to be tied to a sequence. Okay. So if I'm scheduling an appointment with you and, I'm, and, and, it's, and it's Tuesday and I'm scheduling a call for, let's just say Thursday, I don't necessarily need to be on a sequence because I'm, 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 I got the booking confirmation email. I'll get another, another email an hour before our call. That's really all when it comes to the appointments. But if it's a different type of lead, if you download, if you're going, if I'm running an ad and I'm taking you to my landing page, cause I want you to download seven tips on how real estate agents are crushing it on social media. And I'm giving you a PDF. Mm -hmm. You see my Facebook ad. It's all about downloading my free PDF. You go to my landing page, you put in your name and email, click to download your free PDF. Right. You opt in. That's a person that's on a list. They're on my free PDF download list, right? right. right. That's a list. That's a lead that I for sure want to tie to a sequence. Hmm. Okay. For sure, for sure. Because yeah. if you're downloading my free PDF and it's a seven page PDF, I got a bunch of more shit to tell you and I'm going to email you 17 more times. Right, right. right. So, so that's a sequence. I'm going to put 17 emails, for example, in a sequence and I'll have an email go out every other day for as long as I want. I could put 17 emails in that, in that sequence. I could put 77 emails in that sequence. It's up to you. I could put right. seven emails in the sequence, but, but you could tell the difference. One person downloaded a PDF for more information and I need to continue to nurture that lead. But on the other hand, that other person just scheduled a call with me. Mm -hmm. And so, and so again, you'll be able to determine who needs to be in a sequence and who, and who, who doesn't. Um, but, but nine out of 10 list, you're going to want to tie to a sequence. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so now we have our list. So now go to your page, go to your landing page. Um, and let's opt in. So let's just opt in, go to the squeeze page. And, and, and let's go ahead and, and opt in, go ahead and, 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 and opt in right there. Click here to schedule your call. Okay, so now, now you opt in and now you're taken to the thank you page. So now Facebook just read that activity. Facebook mm -hmm. just read that. Now click on number four or yeah, click on the four at the top. So now the fourth detection mm -hmm. is the button click. So now Facebook knows that that lead clicked. So now we have more information for the pixel. So now let's go back to the events manager. And again, we may have to wait a little while before we have this ability, but let's re refresh this page. And I don't think we'll be able to check it to, to get the drop down yet. But again, let's see if that did anything. I don't think it did, but let's just, let's just, let's just see if it did. Um, let's go ahead and, and add event and hit the drop down. Bam, there it is there, bro. There it is there. That oh. did work. That did work. Thank God. 
See, your boy over here be knowing what he's doing, bro. Your boy be knowing. Right. So hit that choose an event. And now we're telling Facebook about the conversion. Hit submit. And that right there was your money. Yes, I understand. Nice. Click apply. And that's how you do the damn thing, bro. Nice. So the last thing we'll do, and then we'll and then we'll we'll schedule our next call. The last thing we'll do is we'll create our custom audience. So go ahead and, and hit the dots to the left. And then um, we're gonna go to audiences mm -hmm. and we're gonna create an audience. We're gonna create, we're gonna create, we're gonna create um normally, I mean, normally it's three, it's three audiences in your case. But if you're going straight for appointments, mm -hmm. yeah, see, we, we created these other ones before. Hit the drop down on the top right and just close out, minimize this part right here. No, not that one, the one below it. Yeah, hit that right there. Let's get rid of this top part. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit. See, what we did over here, I don't know if you did this or, or if I did this with you. Actually, you did this. You did, you, so these are all custom audiences that you set up before. What mm -hmm. you'll want to do is you want to create custom audiences of these new links. So are, are these any of your audiences? Actually, you know what? None of those are going to work because none of those are tied to, to, to your domain that's registered with, with Facebook now. So what were these ones? Hover over it and what link was that? So schedule appointments. Yeah, see, that's not even your link anymore. So just check the box to the left and let's just delete it. We'll just create it again. So let's um, delete and we'll do one at a time. So delete audience. And then let's do the landed one. Yeah, because those are all based off of your old link. So right. let's do the same thing for landed on thank you page. Okay, perfect. And then scroll down. Actually, yeah, do that one too. And that's why they're pending because Facebook's not reading that link anymore. Okay, perfect. So now let's create a custom audience. We'll just do it from scratch. Um, now these custom audiences are going to be website. They're going to be video. They're going to be customer list eventually. But right now we'll just focus on website. Let's create. Let's create. Um, let's create these. Now, what's the third page that you have up there? You have you have three pages, but really it should be two when it's all said and done. But what's these two thank you ones? Yeah, I don't know why I have two. Okay, let's let's go back to Kartra real quick. Let's get rid of one of them. Go back to Kartra. Let's um, go back to my pages, and let's just get rid of one of them. So um, you got thank you for scheduling. Yeah, get rid of the thank you page. Yeah, get rid of that one. Okay, cool. So let's delete that one. So we'll create these two audiences. Um, squeeze page. Thank you for scheduling. So okay. now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go. Let's go to let's go to let's go to the let's go to the squeeze page. Let's go to Kartra, hit the tab at the top, close out the one that we're not using. Which whichever one that was. Is this the one we're using? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's let's I guess let's do this one first. Copy the link at the top. You don't need all everything. Just double click. Actually, double click. All you need is that part. But make sure you don't have the www. Yeah. So all you need is the URL. So let's um Copy and make sure you don't have the dot. That's not the dot, right? Yes, yeah, just the T. Okay, cool. You're good. Okay, so copy that. And this is this is our thank you for scheduling. So sure. what we're gonna do, let's scroll to the top, go to the very, very top real quick. Okay, so include people who meet any of the following criteria. So that's the pixel we're, we're going with. Hit the drop down all website visitors. We're gonna go with specific. So people who visited specific web pages. So click that and you can go 30 days um, or you can go to 180. In this case, go up to 180. Facebook will just track people who visited these pages in the past 180 days. And then all you're gonna do, even if you haven't had it up for 180 days, it's still fine. But paste in the link right there, at least one of these values, go ahead and paste it in right there and always hit the drop down. So when you see that drop down, click on the drop down, and then scroll down. And now here's the deal. Actually, this is the thank you for scheduling. So we're good. So we don't need to exclude anybody. We'll do that on the next one. Audience name. Go to name it what this is. This is, and name it what you name the custom conversion. What'd you name the custom conversion? Go back to the tab at the top, the thank you page. Click on the pixel helper. 
and what's the name of it? It's um, yeah, click on that. Okay, appointment leads. Mm -hmm. So name name this the same. It's appointment leads. So this this is our custom audience appointment leads. Okay, so create audience. Now, as we go and run ads, right? As we go and run ads, and this audience starts to build. Okay, so go ahead and go to the thank you page and refresh the page. Okay, so now it's set up as a custom audience. It's set up as a custom conversion. And so Facebook will start tracking everyone who lands here. So go back to the ads manager. Yeah, let's go back. Yeah, and refresh this page. So so as we start to run mo more ads, this mm -hmm. is an audience that you'll always want to exclude from seeing ads. Now, you don't exclude it from the beginning. You just wait till you start capturing leads. And the moment you start capturing a lead, now it's time to exclude because these are people in this audience that does not need to see future ads, especially if you're talking about the same shit. Right. So if I'm running ads to get people to schedule an appointment, these are people who already scheduled an appointment. Right. So exclude them from seeing future ads. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this other audience that we're going to create our second one, and then, and then we'll be done. Our second one is going to be people who land. Yeah. Go to custom audit, create custom audience. This one is going to be people who land on the website, land on the squeeze page, but never landed on the thank you page. Very specific. So this is going to be an audience that I'll always want to retarget because they haven't opted in yet. So go ahead and go with specific. Hit the drop down. All website visitors. Yeah, 180. And we'll hit the drop down. Go to specific, and then we're gonna we're gonna go to the the squeeze page and get that link get that URL and always double click it because all you need is the, um, the, the, yeah. All you need is that part. Actually, no, the other page. Yeah. This one. Oh no. Oh. Are those both the same pages? Same page. Yeah. Just, um, yeah. Close out them pages at the top. You... Yeah. Yeah. Those two. I hope we got the right one that we didn't delete. We did, right? The thank you page? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So copy this one right here. And then let's um let's open up that, copy that, open it up at, at the top. And then and then all we want is the is the URL. So um grab just just that part right there. Grab just that part. If you got to double click it, that way you can see the www. Yeah, there you go. So just just grab that part only. Now this is a very specific audience. This is going to be an audience of people who landed on this page. Okay. They landed on the squeeze page, scroll down, but they never landed on the thank you page. So go ahead and click on exclude. Now let's go back to Kartra, get the link for the thank you page. And we're going to put that in. So, we don't have to open it up. You can get coder link and just copy it from here. Yeah, get coder link and then just copy it from right here. Get the page link. And then just copy everything except for the W. No, you don't have to do that. So just copy that and just get the just the URL. There you go. Perfect. So very specific, man. They landed on the landing page, but they never landed on the thank you page. So we're gonna exclude, we're gonna exclude that link. So go ahead and go to um, all website visitors right there. Hit the drop down. All website visitors. Go to specific. No, no, you're yeah. Go to specific, and then same thing. One eighty, and then just paste in that link right there. Okay, perfect. Hit the drop down. Now again, this is going to be the title of it. This is going to be um, squeeze page visitors. The audience name. Squeeze page visitors. And again, as you start to build out more funnels, you'll want to get more specific on which squeeze page this is, right? right. So um, you can always edit the name and change it later, but here's what you want to do also. In parentheses, you're going to put only. So these are squeeze page visitors only. They never opted in. Mm -hmm. So create audience. This right here will be an audience that you'll always want to retarget. Okay. So hit done and you're good. 
So those are your two audience. Those are your two audiences. Those who land on the thank you page, they schedule an appointment. You'll exclude those. And then those who landed on your, on your landing page, the squeeze page, and you'll want to retarget those. So those, those are our custom audiences, man. So all this right here is compliant to the new Apple iOS 14 update and what Facebook's having to change. We integrated our domain. We um, set up our custom conversion. We set up the aggregated event measurement. So that now that custom conversion is, is lined up and, and now you're good to go, bro. You're good to go. From this point on, what we need to do is we need to edit these landing pages uh-huh. and, and really, really work on your offer and, and really what the offer is going to be as, as you go and run ads. Um, so on our next call, in fact, shit, Monday, Wednesdays, bro. Monday, Wednesday is when I do a Karcher call mm-hmm. at one at, at um, what are you, Central Time? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, every Monday and Wednesday, you should be getting an email um, from me. Did you get an email regarding yesterday's call? Yeah, well, I missed the call. But <laughs> okay, it's all good. But but every Monday and Wednesday, I do that call at 3 p.m. Um, Central Time. Um, mm-hmm. And all it's all Kartra. So we'll jump on, answer questions. And then every Tuesday and Thursday, Kartra does a call at 3 p.m. Uh, Central Time. Um, and they, they do a live screen share and they answer questions as well. So the next thing for you is to simply is to simply work on Kartra and get these pages up, up yeah. and going. Um, that's our, that's our next step is to, is to work on that. And then once we have those pages up and once we have an actual, you know, knowing exactly what the ad is going to be, that's when we can go and run the, run an ad. Nice. <laughs> so, so work on the Kartra side, man, work on the Kartra yeah. side and, and join me tomorrow if you can. Um, in fact, in, in, a, in a half an hour, Kartra is going to do a, a Q&A right now in a half an hour. Okay. So let me, let me send you the link for that. Um, because if you haven't registered, you're going to definitely want to register real quick. And even if, yeah, if you can't make it, no big deal. But, but for sure, register. Like register so you at least get the replay. Um, but I highly, highly recommend, I always tell people, if you're in your first month of Kartra, like you need to jump on as many live calls as you can. And so every Tuesday and Thursday, they do one at 3 p.m. Central. And then every Monday and Wednesday, I do one um, at 3 p.m. Central. Perfect. So so jump on these calls to learn this, this platform. Um, so in 30 minutes, they're going to go live with their Thursday call. Did you get that link? Uh, it's in the chat. So check the oh. chat. And just click on that link, bookmark it if you need to, um, and then and then and then and, and register for that Kartra call. But but all that right there, man, was 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 all the important stuff that we needed for the new update. So we're good.